The Real Estate and Housing Developers Association, or REDA, says imposing higher real property tax, gains tax and stamp duty will not curb rising property prices. This is because the move is aimed at real estate speculators who are active in only certain hotspots and not in the affordable segment of the market. Chairman Dato Sri Michael K. C. Yam says the hot spots in the Klang Valley include Bangsa, Monkiara and the KLCC area. Imposing the measure will, however, affect 95% of the property market. As such, he says there is a need to examine carefully the various categories of buyers and prescribe a more focused move against speculators. RBGD will not impact those uh, long-term, uh, mid to long-term uh, buyers, especially for their own use. Because usually after five years or certain amount of time, it goes to zero anyway, right? But if that is to curb uh, uh, speculation, and again, I will stress only in, in some areas, there are probably better mechanisms, you know, to 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 curb by just applying uh, RPGD universally throughout the country. Because those places where there is no speculation may be impacted. Dato Sri Michael adds increasing the RPGT and stamp duty could also send a message to investors that there were policy uncertainties in the country. Fundamentally, he says, the problem with the property market in the country is not enough supply. The best thing, therefore, is, as he puts it, almost a free market. Make sure there's enough supply in the market and the prices will come down. He was speaking to the media after a briefing on the results of a survey of the property market during the first half of 2013. Commenting on the outlook for the second half of the year, he says generally most developers are optimistic. He adds property with smaller and affordable units are expected to be a trend in the future as there is higher demand mostly from the younger population.